welcome. It's me, Persita, and this is Persita's Paradox. So today, let's talk about emotions and how we control them and what we need to do to make sure that we are grounded before we're using our emotions. So first things first. Has anyone noticed how hypersensitive we have been as humans right now? Everything is so touchy. Everyone is so overly sensitive, or what I like to say is hypersensitive in regards to being offended or feeling as if they are mistreated or unappreciated or ungrateful, disrespected. I mean, it just seems as if any and every negative emotion that could be possible right now is what you're experiencing. But I just want to talk about what we can do as individuals to try to make that situation a little better. Now, this won't be a long drawn out conversation, but it will be something to just give you a few key points on what will actually start you in a better emotional status every single day. Now you all know that I am a big proponent of meditating before I move, and I would still tell you that that is the first thing that I would suggest. I would suggest also, as per my first two, three videos, not actually touching your phone or any type of social device or platform for at least the first 20, 30 minutes when you wake up. Those two things, just being in some sense of meditation, bringing forth good energy, having a prayer, really focusing on things being positive will absolutely help. It will also cause you to not be so uh, distracted by the things of the world and what people's opinions are about things. Because sometimes you'll wake up and you'll be in a fairly good mood and you'll see something or read something on some type of social media platform or something of another, and then all of a sudden you're in a bad mood and you wanna continuously talk about it. Have you also noticed that things that you see early in the morning you completely speak about all day. You'll actually find people at work or on the phone or on your way to work and you will literally recite things that you saw. The problem with that is, is that you literally find yourself being completely consumed by the negative thought of what it is that you're thinking about. Not quite as easy when you're looking for positive because you actually have to seek the positive out. <clears throat> so if you start off your day in positive, pretty much manifesting that in your mindset and trying to control your mind, it helps a lot with your emotions. You also wanna take the time to actually listen to what people are saying to you. Sometimes we are in an emotional state of again, already consuming in things that aren't even our issue, right? And someone will say something to you and you're completely offended point blank. Before they can even finish their thought, you've already started thinking about the things that you're going to say back to prove your point. Here's what I propose. Instead of actually taking that approach, actually listen to what they're saying, then repeat back to them what you think they've heard, and then answer the question. What it does is causes you to slow down the immediate gratification of being right, the dopamine of winning, right? Because you actually have to hear Communication is a difficult task if you don't take the time to encode what people are saying. I would definitely try to pride myself on being what's considered a competent communicator, but that's simply because I do my best to try to actually listen and speak relevance more so than emotion, or what I like to also call fact. Thirdly, you definitely want to take the time to relinquish things that are not your issue. Meaning we have to learn how to help without actually holding on to the problem or hindering ourselves with the problem. What does that mean? We have to learn to be able to listen to a situation and do what we can to do, whatever we can, and then walk away from it without trying to then hold it for our own. When you find yourself being consumed in others' issues, not only are you emotional about it, but you find yourself really being emotional if you try to offer advice and they're not interested in your advice and you want to basically tell them you know you're right because you're helping blah 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 makes it complicated to no end when your emotions get in the way and you are simply trying to give advice and make sure that the person is taking your advice the beauty of advice is, is that once you give it it is the perspective of whomever you're giving it to to take it 
Now, I will tell you that if I continue to give people advice and they are continuously in the same status, but continuously asking me for advice, those are people I usually cut off. And I mean cut off by simply not offering any advice. And I tell them, this is a pointless conversation because you're not really gonna take my advice. That makes sense. And it also allows me to not emotionally be invested in something that I literally have no control over and they have no interest at that time to get out. So it settles the emotions of it. But if I don't do that, then I'm emotional all day. I'm thinking about their hurt, I'm thinking about their issues, and I'm thinking about how they're being disrespectful to me and I'm emotional. So I have tried my best to completely pull out my emotions from that scenario. And what I would tell you is the same thing. Emotions can be controlled by the way that you think of things, the way that you see things. And the best way to do that is to not be so easily offended and to put yourself in the person's shoes first and try to understand where they're coming from and why they are talking the way they're talking and what you can do to assist or how you can get out of the conversation without being emotionally attached and hurtful at the same time. Emotions are over the top, typically all the time, like I said, with people. Everything you see right now is emotional. Everyone and their granny is emotional about something or they're absolutely walking in an emotional place. And most want everyone to see things the way they see it. The best way to conquer being overly emotional is to simply not put yourself in a space where you're assuming that people are gonna think the way you think, because they don't. So, I know you heard the doorbell, that's my cue that I have to go, but I thank you so much for joining me today. Please like, share, and comment on this video and all the other videos, and remember to do three things. Live life authentic. Have a blessed day.